I'm Cheyenne Illigems. I'm from Belgium. I study at Vartz. I'm in my second year. And in our work, we base our movement material on antonyms that we connected to the music. We first had a lot of words, a full list of associations, and we saw a lot of opposing words. And then we decided that the words that didn't have an opposition yet could get an, an opposition, an antonym. My name is Rita, I'm from Portugal and I'm 20 years old. Um, so like Cheyenne said, um, when we created the map, we, we created um, in the middle of composition workshop. And then we gave ourselves one hour to draw in this big, large piece of paper, whatever it comes to, to our minds while listening to the music. So we, like I said, we, we drew for about one hour and then after that one hour, we uh, notice whatever it is, uh, whatever we saw it was in common. I'm Jonas Gineke from Lithuania, a dancer at Parts, and I'm doing a trio with Shen and Rita, which is also actually in a way a quartet because. We work with a musician, with Maria, um, that is playing a piece by Gerard Pesson, La Lumière n'a pas de bras pour nous porter. But that is also a part of our uh, performance. She's also uh, a performer, not just a musician playing the music. My name is Maria Dominguez, pianista española, fincada in Bélgica. Actualmente me encuentro realizando un máster de música contemporánea con el ensamble Ictus y Spectra. Mi trabajo se basa en la investigación para el nuevo repertorio y su relación con otras disciplinas artísticas, motivo por el cual estoy realizando este proyecto. Desde el primer momento, eh, junto a la colaboración de los bailarines, decidimos trabajar en esta pieza. Mi propuesta ha sido la elección de la pieza de eh, La Lumière n'a pas de bras del compositor francés Gerard Pesson, que ha sido creada en el 1994. Y luego creamos gestures, movimientos para esto. Y hicimos un score visual sobre esto. And we put our antonyms on the map and we use the patterns, the visual patterns, to link our gestures. It struck us that the map had a lot of colors, whereas the music is divided in, in two elements, a strict rhythm and these sudden chords that pop out. So um, inside our piece you can also clearly see this duality. So in the map we chose our favorite spot and then um, if the front is that way we look at ourselves in the, in the space and then with, with our words we placed whatever we thought it fit and then uh, in, in, our, in the creation of our choreography and our phrase we started with the first word and then in each, in each word we uh, created a gesture and then we just followed, followed the map to another word, so it's like word, pathway, word, pathway, yeah. I try to show the, the relationship between music and dance as an opposition to each other. And in the third part, um, we try to combine those, those two elements, uh, placing one onto another and see what happens with the oppositional relationship if it is more connected, if it is more challenged. Como base de la pieza hay un patrón, un ostinato rítmico que se repite a lo largo de ella 
y este es provocado por el sonido de las uñas contra, contra el teclado. Este ostinato y este eh, motivo rítmico sería propio de un percusionista, pero no de un pianista al uso. El papel visual de la obra es un, también muy relevante, el gesto del intérprete como protagonista y determinando el resultado sonoro de, de esta pieza.